All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another photo vlog. Now, in this episode, you join me in Seven Beach, South Gloucestershire. Behind me, you've got the Seven Bridge and in the distance, you've got Wales. It's a beautiful scene for landscape photography. And I'm down here today specifically to test out a few features on Olympus's flagship EM1X. Now, I borrowed this camera for a few days from Clifton Cameras. This camera is packed with features and being a, a landscape travel photographer and night photographer, there's a few features on this camera that I find very interesting and we're gonna test them out today in this episode. The first of those features is high res shot. Now, being a micro four thirds sensor, it's smaller than a full frame sensor, meaning it gathers a lot less information. Now, Olympus combat that and uh, I think believe it's in some Panasonic cameras as well by including a high res mode, which takes a series of images by shifting the sensor by a pixel or so at a time, and then combines it into one huge file. Now, I think it's a 50 megapixel file. I could be wrong, but I believe the high res mode on this generates a 50 megapixel raw file. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna shoot sunset uh, with the high res mode, and I wanna see kind of the results it generates. The second part of this video, and the most interesting feature on this camera to me, being a, a night photographer, is the live composite mode. When you're shooting long exposures, light trails, things like that, generally you do it in one frame by using long exposures of 30 seconds or even longer if you use bulb mode. Now, the thing with that is you can easily end up blowing out your highlights in the background, especially if you're trying to get light trails through a city. You can easily blow out all the information in buildings. Live composite works by taking a base exposure. Then the camera will continue to take shots, layering on additional highlight information. Kind of like if you layered images in Photoshop and selected the light and blend mode. We're gonna test this out this evening, except instead of doing light trails, what we're gonna do is a bit of steel wall spinning. So once sun sets out the way and we're into blue hour, I'm gonna set this up on the tripod and get Craig, who's in the distance somewhere, to do a bit of steel wall spinning while I test out the live composite feature on this camera. Both of these things, I'm super interested to see uh, the results and uh, I hope you are too. We're gonna go and set up now for sunset and uh, yeah, let's crack on with this video. All right guys, so I have just set up the camera on the tripod behind me and um, I'm about half an hour off uh, sunset. But as you can see, the sun's just dipping now under the clouds. It's just above the horizon. So I've got a little bit of time just to, to play around with my composition. I'm not gonna do anything spectacular in terms of composition for this shot. Uh, the sky's looking really awesome. Uh, I've got a bit of the rocks in the uh, foreground and obviously the bridge is gonna act as a nice leading line towards that sunset, which I'm hoping is gonna look pretty nice. Now, before I get to sunset and before I start shooting, I'm just gonna show you now how to access high res shot if you've never used this feature on your Olympus before. Without trying to break my legs. All right, so this is, I know this isn't ideal, uh, I'm not sure how you screen record, so I'm just gonna try and show you on the GoPro. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously switch your camera on. You can see you get a nice preview there with live view. Um, to access high res shot, you wanna hit menu and then come down to shoot in menu number two. The great thing about Olympus cameras, uh, especially this camera is it, the, the menu system's quite complex, but each of the menu items, it comes up with this little info bar that tells you exactly what that setting does, which is a really, really cool feature to be fair. Um, so what you wanna do is come down to high res shot, and then you wanna hit right, and here you've got your menu items. So I've got my shooting method at the bottom there, tripod, which is obviously what I am on now. But if you were doing a handheld high res shot, you'd come down here and uh, change that to handheld. I'm gonna leave it on tripod for now. Um, I'm not sure what charge time is, if I'm totally honest with you, but the most important thing here is high res shot. We're gonna turn it on. Now I've played around with this earlier and I've set it to two seconds. So this is almost like having your two second timer on your camera. So it will delay the shutter by two seconds. So obviously it will eliminate any camera shake. So I'm gonna leave it on two seconds. Then I'm just gonna hit the shutter button. And as you can see, we're back on the screen. I'm free to play around with settings as I want. And if I go to info, you can see here, it's telling me that um, I'm gonna be doing a high res shot. And you can see here that it's taking a 50 megapixel 
a JPEG and a RAW file. So that's how you access your high-res shot. So I'm just gonna wait now for um, sunset and then gonna take a few images and see what the uh, results are like. All right, let's see where this tide is. So yeah, you can see it now coming in, coming in between the rocks. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, but um, sky's looking nice. We're still about 20 minutes before it uh, dips below the horizon. And I'm hoping it's gonna catch all of these clouds here. I'm hoping it's not too thick on the horizon so we can get a bit of color up here. That's what I plan on doing. Um, but yeah, like I said, water. I do not want to end up in that and this is not mine. So I definitely don't want that in the water. All right, so I'm just taking a final few shots from this location. Uh, I'm gonna have to move pretty pretty shortly because now the water is uh, it's almost surrounded me and uh, the colour is about to drain from the sky but I'm hoping once the sun dips further below the horizon it will light the high out clouds but um, we shall see. But so far my thoughts on this camera, it's an impressive piece of kit. I mean, I know Olympus is mission statement is to build compact small bodies that's why they they stuck with micro four thirds so it's surprising to everyone when they built this um, almost DSLR like uh, looking body it actually feels really nice in the hand and like I said at the beginning of the video it is packed full of features that um, a lot of other cameras don't have so it'd be interesting to see these high-res files and um, I'm really looking forward to playing around with the live composite later so um, I'm just gonna carry on shooting now for a little bit longer um, see what happens with this sunset and then we'll move on to the live composite stuff. So we are just 10 minutes after sunset now, starting to get a little bit of color in the sky. So I've whacked the GoPro on top of the uh, EM1X to capture a little bit of a time lapse. I don't know whether it's gonna look any good. I'm imagining this color is gonna go, come and go pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we've had to retreat back up to the, uh, the bank here because the water came in really, really quickly. Um, so I'm just going to keep shooting now for probably about another 10, 15 minutes max, just to see whether we get any more color in the sky. Uh, and then I'm going to wait for blue hour when we're going to try this live composite. So um, yeah, I'm going to put the images from the high res shots up next. Let me know what you think. I'll do a few different crops so you can kind of see the resolution of that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. But we'll uh, see out the final bit of sunset. I can see a little bit of color starting to appear now bit some reds popping up so I'm hoping we get a little bit more color but uh yeah so far so good color is really starting to pop now we're getting a lot of reds over this side of the image which is the far right of my frame uh, but it's looking spectacular so I'm just going to keep shooting now So we are ready to start playing around with some uh, steel wool spinning and the live composite feature of the EM1X. Before we do, I'm just gonna show you how to access and how to set this up on your Olympus camera. So what you wanna do is, first of all, you wanna put your camera into manual. Then what you're gonna do is select your aperture and shutter speed for the base exposure. So in this instance, I'm probably gonna go to F11 and uh, checking my histogram i'm probably going to start with a base exposure of about four seconds what you want to do now is uh, remember that shutter speed and then flick over into bulb mode um, if you scroll then across you'll be able to see live comp in the bottom corner that's uh, the setting that you need to be in but before we start this process we need to hit menu 
And if you remember, our shutter speed in manual was four seconds. So in this menu item here, you can see composite settings. You wanna make sure that is the same amount of seconds as you just had in manual mode. So for my exposure, it was four seconds. I'm gonna hit set, I'm gonna press the shutter button, and now I am ready to go. One thing I will add before we start spinning is that you wanna be in manual focus. So we set up the scene a second ago uh, with Craig and I've manual focused on him. And um, basically you wanna be in manual focus because as it keeps taking shots, you don't want it to uh, adjust focus if it was in autofocus. So yeah, keep it in manual focus. Those are the settings that you'll wanna use. Uh, obviously your shutter speed is gonna be different for your scene, um, but that's how you access the live composite. Uh, and now we're ready to go spinning. So I hope you enjoy these next few shots and uh, let's try not to set anyone on fire. Yeah, always take your subject out of the scene first and then set your base image. So shooting a five second exposure now, that's gonna be my base image. Uh, and now it's ready for composite shooting. So Craig, if you wanna jump back in the scene, and then basically I hit the shutter button, it's gonna keep laying over images until I hit the shutter button for a third time. And at that point, my image will be done. So we're ready to go. Go. So it's taking one frame at five seconds. It's taking another one. I'm just letting the effect build up now. I knew that we ran out. <laughs> So now we're going to try it with the uh, steel wolf flying over our heads. Uh, so this could get pretty interesting. So I'm just going to do again my base exposure. We've moved Craig back a bit. So my base exposure is ready and now I'm ready for composite shooting. So whenever you're ready, bro, try not to break a leg. <laughs> health and safety, guys, health and safety. So last time Craig and I did this and he fired the steel wall at me, it set my bag on fire. So my bag's miles behind us now. So we're ready to go. Awesome. Yes, that looks awesome. Nice. Really cool. All right, guys, as you can see, the light's pretty much completely gone now. So we're gonna call it a day. Plus we've almost run out of wire wall because Craig managed to set it on fire. That boy's a little pyromaniac. Anyway, I've had a great time shooting with the EM1X tonight. Um, I'm really interested to see how those images look when I get back to the computer. The live composite feature is really, really cool and I can see it appealing massively to anyone that does long exposures, um, light trails, that kind of thing. We had um, some good success with the, the steel wall spinning. Um, I tried to do a little bit of light painting, which was pretty hard on those rocks, but even so, that live composite mode is awesome. I'm interested, like I said, to see how the high res shot turns out. But all in all, that is a cracking uh, little camera for those of you that uh, wanna stay with Micro Four Thirds or are interested in the Olympus system. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with that body. Anyway, I hope you like this little video with the Olympus EM1X. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Cheers to the boys for helping out and uh, I will see you on the next video.